All right, we're back on the uh, we're back on the Sony right now because I don't know why. Because I'm traveling and everything is like in my hands, and I've got to go. We're leaving. All right, so I came back to Yokohama, and I'm basically just crushing the dumplings. We had 10 hutakaku, I think is how you say it. We've copped some mango soft serve. Kind of a day off. I haven't been vlogging here in Yokohama because we were just here, and I'm literally doing the exact same thing. But the other thing that's going on is we're trying to decide where we're gonna go tomorrow. I'm thinking we're gonna go to Hiroshima. And this is fire. Thank God for the word the, or I would never found the shit. All right, so this place supposedly has a super rare crown grid bowl. I ordered a small roast beef bowl, which was the perfect snack because I could still eat more. So that's delightful. That was ramen garasha. It was okay. It's like a chicken based ramen. Definitely not my favorite. Soup was really good. It tastes like chicken noodle soup, but I'm glad we had the steak bowl first. You know what I'm saying? Baskin and Robbins in Japan. Got the ass chocolate. I think I'm gonna head home. Try playing the rest of this uh, going to Hiroshima. It's a little bit later than I wanted to go, but I've had a bunch of shit going on this morning. A bunch of really annoying shit. Back in the good old US of A, to be completely honest, it's my landlord at the shop who all of a sudden just like can't get off my ass about things. So last week, I don't think I even talked about it on the vlog when it happened, but before I left, there was a huge plumbing issue. Did I talk about it? Crazy plumbing issue. Disgusting. Like, disgust. Cost me 500 bucks. The weirdo bike guy next door has moved out. New tenant, apparently. And now they're complaining that people are smoking outside. So I'm basically just gonna give the place up. I got an attitude with the landlord this morning. I don't have time to enforce your rules, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna tell this dude to eat a dick because I don't have time for this shit and I can figure all this stuff out when I get home. It makes me feel better to know that Alex is gonna be back home probably packing the shop up. I'm not dealing with no bullshit. I don't like fucking rules. I don't need enforcers in my life. You wanna fucking give me rules while I'm paying you money, a lot of money and on time, it's gonna bother me with petty shit, dog. I'll cut it and it's cut. So if you got tattooed there, congratulations. <laughs> Nobody else is getting tattooed there. All right, well, let's go to Hiroshima. Hiroshima, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but that's how you say it one way or the other. We have a really long train ride ahead of us. have made it to Hiroshima, Hiroshima, I don't know how. We are at a very nice hotel for it's the Rumor and Rules Hotel, RHR. It's not crazy, it's like 200 bucks a night, which is in any fucking regular city about what you're gonna pay. So we're here for three nights. Look at this view. You got the whole corner view joint. So this is what they charge you for, is the view, but it's a nice one. Rainy day, four and a half hour train ride, so I'm a little cooked. I'm so happy about this bed. I'm so happy about this large bathroom. Not hating on my other spot in Taka de Nobaba at all, but it's nice. Look, I can walk around. I'm walking in the room, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm walking, dar. Shit is nice. Can't walk in the other. It's really small. <laughs> really starting to kind of <laughs> impede, so I'm glad I came out here. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do today. The museum closes at 5.30.
Memorial Museum, which as expected, it's heavy as fuck. Uh, I even like towards the end just started like cruising through because it's a, it's a lot to take in, man. So uh, politics aside, that shit is well, no politics inside. That shit is so fucked up. All of it from start to finish. Not just America, every fucking single country involved. But holy shit, crazy, crazy. Puts a little damper on the mood. Uh, it's also a little weird that like it's crazy that I'm here right now. Uh, I never really thought that I'd ever be here. But standing across from basically this is where the bomb drops, essentially like around this area. I don't know the exact point, but this building in front of me is the one that stays standing and they haven't they haven't touched since then, so it still looks the same and it's in the middle of the city as a reminder. But yeah, this shit is crazy. You should definitely come here and check it out. I can't imagine what it's like to be a kid in Japan. Like growing up in Japan and being like, oh. Yeah, they dropped a bomb on us. You know, it's like different perspectives. Gotta be so fucking insane. Anyway, here's the building. The foot on the toe box. Can't tell. It's like, God, it's a little stretchy, but Jesus Christ. What did y'all do to a shoe? Everything's so burlappy. Oh, it's nice and open. Oh, look, it's the hype piece. Dude, these are crazy open. These are actually fire. So many colors. I hear these are comfortable, but they're fucking disgusting. Surprisingly enough, we have not eaten today really anything but some heavy shit. I don't know what to get. There's uh, one like really famous dish here, but I know the spot we're supposed to go and this ain't it. This sake comes with a shot glass. That's four dollars. Chill for a little bit and then go get dinner. I didn't find anything on my way and I had way too many gachapons in my pocket. Definitely spent a 30 pot on gachapons. Alex, most of them for you. I'm just keeping the fried chicken minik neko. The little gachapon world. Look at this. Oh man, I want a deep fried fucking Maneki Neko. How much is that? Three dollars. Motherfucker, that's the same one I just got. Ugh. Finally, we got it. to get in here is through this okay, through this alley though i have no idea what this place is called but it was ridiculously good and it was twenty dollars here let me give you the sign that's the spot our guy there killed, killing up hills oh yeah that was fucking ridiculously good all right so the pizza vending machine the only one in the world that cooks your pizza supposedly is right down the street no eel and pizza probably wouldn't normally mix but i don't give a fuck Pizza's not gonna be good anyway, so let's just go check it out before we go and rest in our beautiful, luxurious hotel. <laughs> I don't know. I just know we're here at the pizza machine, but I don't have any idea how this works. There is no English. All right, we'll find out soon. We have a countdown. Assume that's when our pizza is gonna pop out of this fucking fiery oven, son. Dang, son. Let's <laughs> just get right out of the fucking bed. They're obviously not bad. The pizza slicer the whole time. I didn't even know it. My friends told me, I put your feet. My friends, they told me. I can show you? Okay, yeah. My friends, they show me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they get their own pizza now. Pizza slicer. <laughs> あ、来た来た来た。いいね、いいね。絶対うまいやん。熱くないぜ。あっちあっち。いいよみ。絶対うまいよ、これ。ちょいこもらっていいそれも。いいよ。いいこもらっていいです。ぜひ。ぜひ
It's pretty good. Ma. <laughs> I've been awake. I woke up at like 5 a.m. for no reason. My face really hurts. The left side of my face. I don't know why. I think I just slept on it crazy or like grinded my teeth or I don't know. My shit, it's like, it does not feel good. But I'll survive. I'm not gonna uh, complain about a little jaw, jaw injury as I just went through a museum where people were blasted off the face of the planet. So it starts with an M, but it's a place we gotta take a boat there. We're doing that. We're gonna get some of this food. It starts with the Y. I, my brain does not hold on to words the way that it should probably. Uh, it's rainy. Some people pray for rain, so just deal with it. And we're gonna go out and explore. Kinda wake up a little bit first. Be out and about, back in these streets. Back in these Hiroshima streets. I like Hiroshima better than Hiroshima. Took it right out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so this place is amazing. Absolutely, definitely come here. One of the main draws here is the, uh, what's called the Otori Gate. Uh, it's just a huge Tori Gate, that, the big red gate that, we're, that I'm obsessed with. It sits in the middle of the water, so when it's high tide, it looks like it's floating in the middle of the ocean. Low tide, you can walk to it. Ted tide, it's just not here. The motherfucker is straight gone. But that scaffolding there, <laughs> I think that's it. I don't think that that pier is normally there, so perhaps they're building a pier to it, or maybe the pier is not permanent. I have no idea. That's normally one of the main draws here, so it's kind of funny that it's closed. I looked up when it closed, and it is definitely two days ago, so that's fucking hilarious as well. It's really a beautiful place, like, with or without the gate. I mean, it's. A, I would like to have seen the gate, for sure, but... It's an even better story that I came all this way and it's under construction. There's many other gates in Japan, but that one's cool. I've, I've, I see a scaffolding in the middle of the ocean, so I believe it. It's so nice out here. It's pretty busy, um, but not like overrun with tourism. And you can definitely walk a little off the path and there's, there's no one out here. So I've been chilling here for like half an hour. There's a little ropeway we can ride up the mountain. We can walk it, it'll take two hours. So I think we're gonna take the ropeway, go up, come back down go back to town, get off this island. Really a cool place. Costs like 40 bucks to get here and back. The shrine's like two bucks. So it's not, not too crazy if you're already in Hiroshima, Hiroshima. Ooh. Got warm, son. Huh? We just climbed up to the ropeway, which is also no easy task. How's the hike in itself? And now there's this really long line to get on it. So I'm gonna sit here and decide what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I wanna wait.
Okay, so I wasn't gonna come up here, but then I read that this is where people came to the peak to gain enlightenment. So <laughs> we came, we came this way. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. It's beautiful. Each park gets more and more pretty, even though know, it's a long ass hike. <laughs> Coming back up, this is going to fucking suck. Down and up. Down and up. Hello, Fudo. Fuck. Some Chester Copper Pot shit, huh? I'm pretty sure this is only halfway. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. You guys didn't have any trouble walking up here, huh? Huh? No problem for you. Fuck. Wish I was a deer. So this little eternal flame room over there is for couples and lovers. And Alex is in here, and I know that she's super jealous of this trip. I know that uh, she wishes she could be here. She's being like a really good sport about not making me feel guilty as hell. So I climbed to this mountain, and I'm gonna put a little uh, writing for me and Alex, and I'm gonna go hang it in the room of eternal love. That was worth it. But goddamn, if you ain't gotta earn it. Also, don't feel bad because these skinny ass Asian motherfuckers are also winded. So, you know, my fat ass is fucking championing out here. Legs are so tired. We walked 66 floors today. Guys, 66 floors, and now we're on 27th floor. Shout out to my room. I didn't sleep that good last night. A couple of things. My face, that air is probably loud as shit. I don't care. Uh, my face hurt like crazy this morning, as I mentioned. After I started hiking up that mountain, it does not hurt anymore. So that is what I take as my, I take that as a healing property of the hike. Some sort of deity healed me upon my ascension up to enlightenment. Uh, I feel good. I'm glad that I went. I would say that without the vlog, I probably would have turned it around and gone home because I did not feel good at all when we were coming up, you know, getting ready to ride the rope thing. I did not feel great. I'm really glad that I did that. I'm really glad that I came here and I'm really grateful that I have this hotel room that is in the middle of everything and I'm super grateful for the opportunity to come on this fucking trip. I feel like the first week or so, like with the typhoon and shit, I kind of was like feeling a little down. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Like, did I pick like the worst fucking time to do this and spend all this money? And then all the stuff with the shop was going on. And obviously all the things that happened before I left. So I feel super grateful uh, to be able to do this and to be able to drop clothing and just have you guys support is fucking amazing. Aside from the vlog, just the clothing in itself. Um, like it's it's awesome. Like I love that you guys, it's awesome that you guys look, and girls look forward to the content. Video, I just call videos, the videos in every regard. It helps me keep creating and it makes you want to do trips like this because I get super inspired obviously and um, it gives context to a lot of things. So thank you and uh, yeah, it's been a good day. I'm feeling amped up. Feeling, well I'm tired of shit but I'm amped. You know what I'm saying? 
Alice is going to give me so much shit because she's always trying to get me to go on hikes, but that hike was like peppered with everything I love. You know what I mean? Alice wants to go on these hikes that are like nature walks and shit, and I get it. Today is kind of a nature walk, but it's peppered with cool Japanese gods with swords, and we don't have that in Colorado. You know what I mean? I need somebody to go set up a whole situation, ancient situation, for me to get into it. But that was good, that was fun, enlightening, beautiful. Those deers are fucking scamming though. It looks like the people are abusing them. Well first, people aren't supposed to pet them and they do. People aren't supposed to feed them and they do. Whatever though, those fucking deer know what they're doing. You know, like the deer that don't want anything to do with people, they go and hide out and they, they're out in the cut. You see them randomly. But the ones up front, they know what they're doing. Even when people are leaving, they're like following them out because they know. They know they're gonna have some rule breaking motherfuckers. Because I saw so many girls feeding them fucking cookies and shit. I'm like, these fucking deer, they're deer. They're not supposed to have cookies? What the fuck? Anyway, someone out there right now is like, you're a human, you're not supposed to have deer. Uh, we're gonna go eat Yoko Nimiyaki? Is that how you say it? Yoko, Yoko, I think it's Yoko Nimiyaki. I'm probably saying it wrong. Yoko Nimiyaki. I can't remember shit. So that was uh, so fucking good. Those ladies were, when I got done eating, I ate it so fast and they started clapping. And then everyone in the little area with me also started clapping because they couldn't believe how fast I ate the whole thing. Joke's on them. I could eat another one. No problem right now. These fools have no idea. I'm gonna cruise back towards the house because I am exhausted, but I'm not promising I'm not getting anything else to eat either. That was really fucking good though. It is 5.45 a.m. Sun hasn't even risen yet. Checking out of my hotel, we're about an hour away from the festival, which we have to check in at eight o'clock. Deftones are playing, Guns N' Roses is playing, we're playing, Lamb of God is playing, Mice and Men, there's a bunch of other bands, I don't know. Could be exciting. I never know where this vlogging is going to go. I guess that is the beauty of vlogging. Also, the beauty of life. Don't really know where it's gonna go, it's just an adventure. We're at the Exit 111 Festival. It's actually the same, uh, grounds is where Bonnaroo takes place, I guess. I don't know, take you around, show you a little what the behind the scenes backstage shit is like. And it's not overly exciting, I hate to tell you. The whole oh, sorry, sorry. Hasn't been much to do today, but work. Going to Daytona Beach in a few days, and that should be pretty fun. And then Japan is coming right around the five days away till the end of this tour. Eight days away until I fly out to see Teddy. So, Charlotte, South Carolina. North Carolina, South Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina, and tomorrow is Raleigh. Shout out to Teddy, we're in North Carolina country. I'm gonna try and cop in some In-N-Out burger and maybe some cheer wine. Late night here. See, this is this is after the show. This is what's left. It's just out here on the floor. We got Greek over there just torturing people. He's over there fucking with the merch guy probably. You can get up on Greek, I know. I know we all want to see Greek. There he is. There he is. We rocking this place! Yes! Well, I think we're fogged up. We're out here in beautiful fucking Daytona Beach. It is so fucking hot out here, guys. I can't even tell you. It's like sticky hot. It's cr is the Daytona skyline. <coughs> it's three days. We've got this off day, and then we have three shows. Bike life out here, you know? Fuck, it's so hot, so bright. I can't keep my eye open. Literally dripping in sweat already. It's incredible. Nice. 
letting loose here in uh, Florida. Whew. It should be a pretty good off day. It's already 11.30, already halfway of the day is done. But uh... Okay, it's Biketoberfest out here. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight in this vlog. The fucking Daytona Strip, Main Street for Bike Week. I'm ready. It's about midnight in Daytona. Um, I know I said I was going to vlog and the there's no excuse here except the fact that when I got into Daytona, I realized what a horribly crazy racist place it is. I didn't know that Harley Davidson culture, I don't really know how to explain it. The t-shirts, not even the Trump shirts, which are bad enough, but like, man, some of the shirts were just straight racist bike lives matter and just weird shit dude and the dichotomy and like the local people there's like hispanic people and and black people selling like working in these stores but these shirts i don't know i was really blown away by how like every bar that i went to had like trump signs and it's just you are in the motherfucking south of bike i guess i should have not been surprised we are in florida but holy shit like i thought i was gonna go out and it would be like you know crazy partying which there is it didn't end up being that interesting of a day honestly there's bikes everywhere you can hear them it's like they're like wild animals just all over the city sometimes you hear people peel out sometimes you hear music another interesting one is the music like when you walk into one of these stores with all these fucking shitty shirts and they're playing like young jeezy like they got rap music and the dude's nodding his head as he's selling like shitty racist t-shirts very interesting place it's definitely weird so we're leaving in like an hour motorcycles in the distance people are yelling that's it 